Welcome back everyone to the Otaku Collective. I hope you enjoyed my last video and uh, just a little update on that. I did actually really enjoy those wrap snacks, chips, the one with Migos on it. How about you? You got something for me, Migos? I got shafted in this whole box. You better got something good for me. Oh, shit. Not bad. Those were actually uh, pretty damn good. I actually went out the next day and bought like two more. So props to them. It's a, it's a bit of a funny product, but hey, you can't deny the flavor. That stuff was pretty good. All right, so what do I got for you today, guys? I actually went out and I was looking for some product and I couldn't help myself. I saw this, an entire box of these Pokemon tins. Now, as you can see here, yeah, an entire box now I wouldn't advise if you're just a, a normal person going out there and uh, that buys things like this uh, to buy an entire box it could be pretty pricey but I saw that you know no one picked on no one picked from it it was completely full so I figured ah why the hell not it would be interesting and I do want to give that a shot Something like this, not just get a, a few tins and then open that up, but I wanted to open up an entire box. So as we can see here, we got the Galarian game down here. We got Galarian Ponyta. We got Wooloo. We got Grookey, another Wooloo. We got Score Bunny. We got Pikachu hiding down there. Let's see, Rookie D. Sobble. We got a few uh, more Pecos. And we got that little Corgi Pokemon. I can't quite remember what its name was, even though it was like the first Pokemon I caught in the game. But yeah, so what's up with these tins is that they come with two booster packs. But they also come with an art card that when you put together, it makes the entire artwork that you see right here. So put them together and I guess it's a little something for the kids. You know, it's just a little... Something that seems a little extra, but for, you know, self-respecting collectors, uh, adults like myself here, it's not really worth that much. We're just in it for the packs. So, why don't we get into this thing already? We got, let's see, 10, yeah, 10 tins, which means we got about 20 packs that we can open. I'm not sure if all of them are Sword and Shield, but let's hope that we at least get... Most sword, mostly Sword and Shield and not old packs like Steam Siege or something. Alright, how you guys liking the new angle? I just got this new mount for my camera. And I finally get to do that top-down angle that I've been wanting to do since the beginning. What I like about it is, well, you get to see a little bit more. You get to see me put down the cards, make my little piles. I don't know what it is for anyone else, but for me, uh, that's just kind of... I guess soothing to see exactly. I'm not sure the word that I'm looking for, but I like it. For someone who likes to you know, open cards and organize them, I guess it's just something that uh, people like that find uh, therapeutic to look at. So, why don't we take a look at what we got here. So we got our nice little box. Cute artwork. I know we just saw it, but I really do like this box. And I do remember the name now of this dog. It's Yamper. Right. We got uh, this little more Pekka right here just sitting there looking at his rock. Little touched in the head, are you, mate? All right. And we got Glarian Ponyta right there looking like uh, my little pony. All right. So let's open this now. Yes, it's been unwrapped. Obviously, when you buy them from Walmart and all that, they don't come wrapped you're supposed to buy them one at a time and it's funny because when i took it to the counter the guy was trying to scan the box and obviously they don't sell it by the box see how they sell them by the tin now here we got a grookey tin with the wooloo on the sides so why don't we start off with one of these put this off to the side over here and we'll get started Oh yes, and if you noticed, 
Uh, I had these off to the side. I completely forgot I had them there. Uh, but yeah, if you want to look at take a look at me taking these out of the box, these are from my last video. So go ahead and check that out. All right, now let's get started. So open them from the back here, like so. They are perforated, so you should be able to tear right into them. And though for this for the video's sake, it probably would have been better. I just open them ahead of time, but I didn't want anyone to think that I was stuffing these tins. Now, I do not condone anyone do that. That's kind of sacrilege for these opening videos. All right, see, what do we got in here? This is the first time I've ever opened one of these. Okay, so we got... So we got a Garchomp coin. All right. And we got, hey, we got our sword and shield. I like to see that. And we got an evolution. So, of course, got to get rid of all your old stock. And we got the art card, which is the front of the tin. With the Grookey and the two Wooloo. So, on the back, we have some facts. We got Grookey, Pokemon number 810, the chimp Pokemon. Height, one foot, and 11 pounds. When it uses its special stick to strike up a beat, the sound waves reduce carrier vitalizing energy to the plants and flowers in the area. You can collect all five art cards and combine them into one big picture. And as you can see right here, that's the big picture that you're supposed to combine into. And that should be in each tin. But uh, aside from kids, I don't really know who cares about this. I suppose you can do something cool with it. Maybe frame them, do something, some neat art piece. But, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll come up with something later on. Alright. And here we have our packs. Now, one thing I don't like about them stuffing the packs in these tins is that they get like this. And I don't know if it's messing up the cards or not, but I guess we'll see as soon as we open them. Something I've been wanting to do is just opening every single tin and then putting all the packs together. But, now let's just open them one at a time. Alright, we'll start with Evolutions, then we'll go to the good pack, the Sword and Shield. Alright. And, yeah, you flip it over, alright. Alright, one, two, three. Three to the front, alright, yeah, three to the front, that's how you do it. I'm trying to remember. Still have my last video fresh on my mind, alright, we got Professor Oak. We got Metapod. We got Trainer. We got Weedle, we got Machop, we got Tangela, Vulpix, one of my favorites, Energy, and we got a Reverse Metapod. Come on, give me something good here, because I know Evolutions usually screws everybody. And uh, a freaking Beedrill again. We got this one on the last video. Uh, Alright. Well, let's see what we get out of this. Now these tins, there's nothing guaranteed in these tins, obviously. You know, you want to get something guaranteed, get an entire booster box. And that's what you're wanting. And this one, yeah, you open like so. Alright. And you do one, two, three, four. I do four. Okay. So we got our energy. Energy switch. Dottler. Now the final evolution for this one is actually pretty neat. Kinda. I don't know. It's like an angry looking uh, ladybug or something like that. Mana. Roselia. Choodle. Blitbug. Rhyhorn. One of the originals. Really cool. So is Cloyster. Reverse. Damn, I don't like these reverses. Okay, let's see what we got here. Alright, hey, we got a V card. Sableye. V. Lord Load Search. Crazy Claw. Number 120 out of 202. Very nice. So we got something out of a tin. Alright. Not a bad looking one too. I do love purple. That is one of my favorite colors. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. Let's leave you up. And we'll move on. Put my grabs right there in the corner. Alright, next one, we got 
Score Bunny on the top there with a Pikachu tail. All right. Let's see what we got here. So hopefully we get some secrets out of these tins. All right. Okay. So we do get... I wonder if we get one sword and shield in every one. All right. So we got another Garchomp coin. I wonder if we'll get something else other than Garchomp. We got... Our sword and shield pack. Uh, another Evolutions. wonder if it'll be different. The other ones. And we got our... Sobble art card. Score bunny number 813. The rabbit Pokemon. The warm up of running around gets fire energy coursing through its Pokemon's body. Once that happens, it's ready to fight at full power. Alright. Close you up. We toss that. Now, on to the main event. Come on, evolutions. Give us that Charizard. Or at least something nice to go with it. One, two, three. All right. So we got. Let me move my piles over here. All right. We got coughing. Misty's determination. Revive. We got magic carp. We got our energy. We got caterpie. Ghastly. Diglett, Tangla Reverse, and a Starmie. Nothing out of Evolutions again. Not surprising. And all right, Sword and Shield. Let's get something good. You know, I don't know exactly what's in Sword and Shield completely. But, uh, do hope there's lilies in this one. And I know. I'm absolutely obsessed. With those lily cards, but they are good looking cards. Two, three, four. Everybody has their favorite character. I also do like that uh, fighting gym leader from Sword and Shield. Now she's pretty cute. Right on. Eldegoss. Air balloon. Just a simple balloon. Shelter. Mawile. Galarian Ponyta. Sobble. Maractus. A reverse for a seed and a knocked owl. Well, that tin was a uh, complete bust. That's to whoever, whatever kid would have gotten that one, but no kids getting these because I got all of them. All right, let's see what you got inside. So how's everyone doing? You know, being locked up and whatnot right now. I know that's not everyone. And I know I'm not. I mentioned that before. I'm still working. Which, you know, I'm just glad I still have a job. So we got another another freaking Garchomp. What the heck? They're just getting rid of these, huh? Got our Sword and Shield and another Evolutions? Are you serious? Well, I guess we'll be definitely getting our try at the, that Charizard. And I do like my old school cards. I am an OG player, so... Another Grookey. We already have the info on that one. Alright. Let's see what we got. Come on, Charizard. Now these actually open good. Wish the rest of them opened like that. Right, there's your code. If there's anything good in there you'd actually want. One, two, three to the front. Alright. We got our coughing. Our Kakuna. Our Charmeleon, our Sandshrew, our Onyx, our Magikarp, an Energy. What the freak? Wait. Okay, Staryu. So, okay, normally uh, the Energy's been, been before the Reverses, so got a little confused. So, our Reverse Kakuna and... Alright! Finally, this is my first Hollow off of Evolutions. So, we got a Nidoking. Re uh, hollow foil. Damn. Now that... That takes me back. 
When I was a kid, I think the rarest hollow I had was a Blastoise. But uh, it's been so long, I really can't remember. I don't even have any of my old cards. I think I have a small stack, but none of them really worth anything. I do have a Hollow Raichu E card, but I mean, that's really the best I got. And I don't even like those. <laughs> I do not like E cards. I know there's people out there who probably absolutely love them, but I don't. They have these, um, they have like these barcode like things on the side of the card. And I just, even as a kid, I was just like, man, this looks ugly. Why? Why are you doing this? So, yeah, um, it was after the e-card thing that I just stopped collecting Pokemon cards. I just, I just didn't like any, I just didn't like the cards. I didn't like what they were pumping out at the time. But now that I'm older, I mean, I wouldn't mind having them, obviously. I'm sure they're worth a good amount of money now. All right. Uh, another freaking Garchomp. I'm going to be making it rain with these Garchomp coins. So we got our Solar and Shield and another Evolutions, I guess. This is how it be, and I forgot to open my other Evo Sword and Shield pack, which... Hey, we'll have two to open, right? We got another Score Bunny art card. Nothing truly exciting here, nothing's been changing. Alright. So, Evolutions. Let's see if we can get... Another Hollow. I do like the Gyarados Hollow, those are pretty nice. Okay. At least it makes switching these um, code cards easy, knowing there's only two different kinds of packs. One, two, three. So, it's making the switch simple for me so I don't screw up during the video. I hate it when that happens. Got a Machoke. Got a Weedle. Got a Tangela. Ponyta. Love you. Doduo. A Star You. Got a Reverse Caterpie and... An Arcanine. I love Arcanine. It's definitely one of my favorites as well. But it's non hollow. Not very exciting. At least for this. And I did forget to sleeve my Nido King, so I will do that. Alright. Sleeve you up here. And where am I putting my good cards? Alright. Right up here. Okay. Sword and Shield. What do you got for me, baby? I noticed. Then a lot of these newer packs, they are glued a little more. Like in the, uh, like in these evolutions, they just open real easy. I noticed that in the older packs, they're just easier to open, but in the Sword and Shield, the newer ones, or Sun and Moon, they've been pretty tough. We got Team Simp. We got Hitmonlee. We got Salazzle. We got Mana, Roselia, got a Choodle, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, a cute little Willy Reverse. Now, I do really like this card. I mean, just look at him. Absolutely adorable. You know, and at least it's a reverse. At least it's something shiny. All right, and Galarian Rapidash. Damn. Nothing out of that one. We've only gotten two good cards out of, what, four tins? That just goes to show the uh, the pull rates off of these. Alright, so we got the Yamper on here with the Morpeko. Yeah, I would not advise buying these, I guess. I suppose, I mean, you can get something out of them. Even those, um, those mystery boxes that are an absolute ripoff, that are not licensed by the Pokemon company themselves. I mean, even, you can even get pulls off of those. Maybe not great ones, but pulls nonetheless. Garchomp, another one. And I forgot to open, again, the last pack. Well, oh well. We'll open it here. So we got Sword and Shield, again. Evolutions, I guess it's nothing but Sword and Shield. And Evolutions. So here we got another art card. Yamper and more Peko. Yamper, number 835. The Puppy Pokemon. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Alright. I do apologize, guys, if there's a, a bit of change 
in the audio because uh, with the new mount and everything, I kind of switched things up. The mic got a little closer to my mouth. So uh, it's, a it's a transition. It's a transition. Eventually, I will remember that before I start recording. Another thing is, right now, in this current season, there's so many damn bugs and crap everywhere. You open your door, and then all of a sudden, freaking, you get one or two gnats that just slide in. Then they freaking create more. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm trying to record, and I got these... These little sons of b flying around, and it's just me. I have to stop every now and then to try and deal with them. So I do apologize if you see some uh, some of that going around. You see a little f bug just fly across the screen. It's not because of, uh, it's not due to uncleanliness. It's just the season right now, and you open your door, which, you know, cl keep your door closed. Cause freaking hell. Oh sh Okay! Now that's what I'm talking about, baby! Nine Tails Hollow! Oh! Dude! And this is my... I think this has to be my favorite Pokemon of all time. Nine Tails, a beautiful looking Pokemon. Just a great design. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or ridiculous. Just a beautiful Pokemon. Man, look at that. Lure, Fire Blast, number 15 of 108. You know, I don't know what the price is on the Hollows and and uh, Evolutions. I know Charizard's obviously worth a lot, but this is worth a lot to me. And uh, it's got a little bit of a curve there. Uh, makes sense. But, uh, ooh, look at that. You see a little bit of that flame in the background, depending on how you're lighting it. Ooh, that looks real cool. I like that. But yeah, yeah, the newer stuff may look more interesting to you guys than these because it's only just a regular hollow, but you know, it's still pretty awesome to me. Alright, definitely sleeve you up, and I will put you in a hard case later. Alright, before I forget, let's do the rest of the sword and shield. Let's get another trainer card. Come on. Code. One, two, three, four to the front. All right. All right, need to move these over here. All right. Got our energy. Got our Poke Gear. Got an Aurora energy. That looks pretty neat. Fair Thorn. Galarian Zigzagoon. Mana. Snom. Pretty cute Pokemon. Grookey, Grookey Gang. Shelter, a reverse, Kingler. Ooh, I got something. And oh sh, bro, dude, Zakanian V, full art. This, this is the motherfucker you're looking for right here, dude. This is 195 out of 202 Intrepid Sword Brave Blade. Now, like I've said before, I don't normally like these V cards. They are, I don't know, not as good looking as the stuff from Sun and Moon, but still, this, this is a good priced card right here. This one's got a good uh, value to it. It may not be the rainbow rare, but damn boy, this, this is a nice pull out of a tin. Not something I'd expect to get out of here. Whoo! Look at this dog, bro. Look at him. That's got to be worth a pretty penny. All right, get my oily hands off of this thing and into a sleeve. All righty. Sweet. I like that. We got something real good. Something to make up for that last video. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, please do. If you want to see someone get hosed. Open that crap like a candy bar. All right, code. Yeah, so that definitely makes up for that. Four. All right. Wait, was that four? Yeah, that was four. Okay. So we got our energy. We got our hyper potion. Citrus berry. 
Corvus Squire. We got a Yamper. We got a Krabby. We got a Q Fent. We got a Bell Toy. Salandit. Reverse Smudbray. That's pretty cute looking. Someone tried to catch him or something? Damn, they missed like three times. That's a shitty ass trainer, huh? And just a regular Drapion. Which is fine. We got a boy's a canyon over here. Making up for the entire tin. Maybe like half of the box as well. Alright. Got another one. Another Yamper. Alright, baby. What do you got for us? Maybe uh, Rainbow Zacanian, huh? Now, while for uh, value's sake, you want another Zacanian. Considering I don't even sell my stuff, I just want another trainer. That's what I want. And, of course, another Garchomp coin. Got our Sword and Shield and our Evolutions. Man, they are just trying to get rid of these. How many of these do they have in backstock, I wonder? Do they just have, like, the whole freaking warehouse? An entire warehouse just full of evolutions. And f Steam Siege and whatever other ones that people just did not like. Ridiculous. I don't follow the, uh... The market for these things exactly, just a bit. So I do know some things, but again, why do they fail? I assume it's because of the reprint. X and Y is because of the reprint. I mean, uh, Evolutions is because of the reprint. I know that. So it devalued all of the old cards and whatnot. I think the only one still really worth a good amount is the Charizard, like I said. Like the Buzz, Volpix. Sandshrew, and they did reprint the living hell out of Evolutions as well, so even... Oh, shit! Okay. We got a hollow, normal energy, special, double colorless energy. Now, if you want an energy card, these are the ones you want. These hollow babies right here. Sweet, very nice. And Narcanine. Well, we got this. So we can't say we didn't get anything. All right. And we move on. Okay, so this one we got a Galarian Ponyta. Now, I don't think we have all of the Pokemon tin covers, but then again, what do we care? We're not trying to make the that artwork stuff from the front. All right. All right, I forgot. And again, I keep forgetting my sword and shield. Before I open you, let's open this. How do I keep forgetting that? I think it's this top-down camera angle, guys. It just kind of whacks me out. Because I'm not keeping tabs on what's on my desk. I got used to the way I had it before. Oops. So, man, I need to handle my cards a little better. All right, energy. Evolution Incense. Salazzle. Bisharp. Blip Bug. Rhyhorn. Club of Puss. Goldeen. Roselia. Got a Chudel Reverse and a Grap Locked. That's what it's called. I forgot its name. Alright, so nothing out of that. I don't remember which one that came out of. I think the... I think the one that that came out of. Alright. So now we open you. And I'm, let me assume. Guard Chomp. Sword and Shield. And... Come on. Come on. Evolutions. Yep. You'd expect anything less. And here we got Galarian Ponyta. I don't think we've gotten one of these yet. Galarian Ponyta, number 77. Unique Horn Pokemon. This Pokemon will look into your eyes and read the contents of your heart. If it finds evil there, it promptly hides away. Very My Little Pony. Not that I know anything about My Little Pony. I just know how they look. So... What do you got for us? Evolutions. Hopefully another banger. Give me something. You know, it's really this it just really sucks to know that a set that has all your old favorites, something that you grew up with, is probably like the crappiest set out there. I think it really is the crappiest set out there. I think that's what most people think. 
because uh, just the way they handle it, and they should never have been reprinted in the first place, I guess. Just devalued all the old cards. Growlithe. Machop. A reverse energy retrieval, and an electrode. Damn, I do see a lot of electrodes whenever people open the uh, evolutions. It's one of the most common cards, most common rares to see. I almost missed this one again. All right. Give me Full Art Trainer, baby. Now, I have seen the Full Art Trainers in this set. I have to admit, I don't really like the hollows on those either. Guess I'll just have to wait until they do something different, which I know they will. You know, another cool set like uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Bisharp, Pokemon Catcher, Hontor, Diglett, Skoruppy, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, yeah, I like that. Looking a little more chubby like you should have stayed. The old school Pikachu was the best. Hoot Hoot, Reverse, and... Damn, another Drapion. Garbage. Nothing out of that. You know, at some point, you just get a little spoiled. You know, when you see all those amazing full arts and trainer cards and all that, and you just kind of don't really care about anything else. I mean, when you're a kid, I guess all of it's cool. You just like to see all your favorite Pokemon, regardless. We got our Sobleton right here, looking real sad. Alright, yep, another one of these. Another one of that, another Evolutions. Well, at least we get a crack at that Charizard on these, you know? Alright, so we got our artwork here, Sobble, Rookie D. Sobble, number 816, the Water Lizard Pokemon. When scared, this Pokemon cries. Its tears pack the chemical punch of a hundred onions. What the f- I didn't know that. And attackers won't be able to resist weeping. So this Pokemon just cries all the time and then makes other people cry. You wonder why I don't like this Pokemon very much. I don't even like its evolutions. So that's why I'm Grookey Gang all the way. You see the descriptions for its evolutions? Where it's like... It gets more aggressive every time it evolves. And it uses its stick to just bludgeon its enemies to death. I think that's pretty funny. One, two, three. All right. So we got Ninorino. We got Pidgeot, Spirit, uh, Spirit Link. We got Porygon, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Diglett, Seal. Got a Metapod Reverse and a Beedrill. Ugh. Come on. Entire stack right here, and I only ever I only got like two good pulls out of that. No wait, three. I admit that nine tails is awesome. And again, almost missed you. Gotta stop doing that. Gotta focus. All right. Okay, and there's our code. One, two, three, four to the fronts. I am getting a little better. Maybe it's the angle I'm filming at. Hitmon Chan, Great Ball, Galarian Lanoon. That's pretty nice artwork. I like that. Score Bunny, Sinistia. I don't understand this Pokemon. I mean, I get it. It's a ghost Pokemon, like possessing a piece of uh, a materia, piece of material or, so or something like that, and. You know, it's a neat idea on paper, but it just turns out weird. Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, mm, not my favorite. Do like Vikings, but I don't see how that works. Clubopus, Reverse, and... Nah, just a regular Scorch, Which is a cool Pokemon in itself, but... Either way, it's not what we're looking for. Alright. Second to last ten, another Galarian Ponytail on the front. Alright. So just so you guys know, 
I will be posting on IGTV eventually. Uh, I think it might be my next video or not. Not sure. What is IGTV? Well, Instagram apparently has their own video streaming service that's like YouTube, I guess. Now I'm just putting myself everywhere, baby. I'm putting this channel everywhere. It's turning out to be fun in itself, to be honest. It's kind of like trying to get a high score in a video game. Just trying to get all those... All those views. And all that stuff. I'm not going to stress on it too much. I'm just going to continue to do what I do. Because I like it. But it is fun to see... You know, people engaging with their stuff. And it does... Help you to keep going. One, two, three... So we got Brock's Grit, we got Slowbro Spirit Link, Magmar, got an Onyx, got a Weedle, Machop, Tangela, Vulpix, Radita Reverse, and a Farfetch'd. Dang, evolutions, there's a reason people don't like you. Alright, Sword and Shield, what do you got for us? Well, that one opened up real nice. Okay. There's our code. Goes over there. All right. One, two, three, four. I hope that's four and I didn't screw up. Okay. Got energy. Got a ride on. Looking kind of funny there. Big charm. It's an interesting card. Thwacky. Yeah. The faster a Thwacky can beat out a rhythm with its two sticks, the more respect it wins from its peers. I don't really like how this one looks, but I swear those those Pokedex descriptions are funny. Wooloo. Absolute cutie. Shelder. Krogunk. That's pretty cool looking artwork. That would look pretty cool in the full art. Silly Cobra. Mincino. Now, Reverse, Glare, and Rapidash. I almost missed that. You can't even tell. And a Lantern. Ah, oh, that's the Pokemon I ended with on the last video. Yeah. And we are down to our last 10 guys. Didn't get many pulls out of, what, 10 tins? Man. That's not something you want. These tins really are for... Uh, you know, just for the gimmick, I guess. You want pulls. You want to get a booster box. Alright. Yep, another Garchomp. Oh my gosh, dude. I am pulling off the mask on this product right now. You will get nothing but Garchomp coins, Sword and Shield, and Evolutions packs. That's all you're getting. We already saw that. I think... I don't know if I've got all the artworks on it. But, uh... Oh, well. Okay, so evolutions. Come on, these are our last two. Let's go out with a bang. Give me a Charizard, please. Okay, all right. I'm gonna screw that up. Code. One, two, three to the front. And let us hope we got a nice Charizard on the end. Or that Misty full art. I do like that Misty trainer card. Want to pull that. Magikarp, Weedle, Electabuzz, Drowsy, Reverse Kakuna, come on, please, please. Ah, oh, f- Well, you got nothing out of that. Absolute loss. Evolutions, you really do suck. Sword and Shield, come on, be a redeemer. Give us some Marnie. I don't know if they have Lily in this set. No, they wouldn't, obviously. It's Sword and Shield. What am I talking about? But that would still be neat. Okay, give us a Marnie then. <laughs> Come on. Marnie. This, your team simp has been talking you all up. Really want your card. Corvus Squire. Great Ball. Goldeen. Diglett. Scoruppy. Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Reverse Krabby. All right, guys, this is the last one. Come on. Come on, give me something. 
All right, now it's not a Marty, but it is a Lapras V full art, man. And when he end, we end with a full art. Body Surf, Ocean Loop, number 189 out of 202. All right, looking real nice, real crisp over here. I do like that mix of colors with that that green and blue with the yellow. That is a nice looking card. All right. I still don't. I still think the GXs are better, but man, it is nice to get something at the end of a video. All right, guys. With that, remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell button. Remember to hit all because apparently I get people telling me they're not being notified. And bitch shoot, please do the same. And Instagram, if I choose to put this on IGTV, remember to follow. And with that, guys, I'll see you on the next video.